lovelies welcome back to my channel today's video is the one i've gotten the most requests for we're touring my rebuild of brindleton bay for those who are new here hi i'm jq honey and i build simple cc free lots for the sims 4 i only use one pack because eventually i want to create a save file for all simmers regardless of which packs they do or do not own i still have a long way to go so i really hope you'll all stick around i apologize again for the audio it's saturday morning and everyone is just so active right now now let's jump right into the tour starting with sable square first up is fetching friends play park at first i was going to build sable square as entirely residential but the more i looked at the park lot the less suitable i thought it is for a residential location just my personal opinion there so instead we have this park here which really doesn't differ much from the original i think i don't even remember how it looked originally but i hope you'll agree that i've made some improvements i added a potty for the toddlers and a litter box I can't remember why there's a shower here, but hopefully it'll come in handy. Across the park is 2 Sable Square, where the vet clinic used to be. It's a family home for parent sims with 4 children, one of which is a toddler, and a pet dog. This extra bedroom is meant for a live-in staff, but you could use it for anything. They also have a swimming pool with a pool house. This pool house was built on the second floor. I just deleted the first floor below it, uh, brought it all the way down, and added the stairs. All my lots are playtested, and I've confirmed that this pool house is usable. Okay, next to that is 3 Sable Square, which is our first starter house. It's a two-bedroom with a lot of space for growth, both on the second floor and in the backyard. The second floor is actually just roofing, and if you want to use it, just move the roofs over the half walls out of the way before adding your walls and staircase, and replace it again when you're done. As it is, the house is furnished for a small family of one child and a pet cat. Going across the bridge from there, you'll find 4 Sable Square. This one is furnished for a large family of seven, including one toddler, and a pet cat. Could be two pet cats if you want. It also has the extra bedroom for a live-in staff, but no swimming pool. However, I did add this little playhouse in the backyard in case one of the kids want to sulk or something. Being the third of six siblings, I kind of know what it's like. I would have liked the playhouse. Back on the opposite side is Five Sable Square, where the hacking household lives the most comfortable lives. It's a six bedroom home, but I furnished it for the hackings, although I did keep one guest room. So instead of six bedrooms, there's a study downstairs with a computer, and upstairs there's a home gym and Brent's art studio, which used to be two separate bedrooms. They have so much space, so I added a swimming pool with a pool house again, and a small gardening area here. Now it's time for part two, Cavalier Cove. I gave the lots house names instead of numbers, because the lots here are more scattered around. First up is our next starter home, Bedlington Beach House. It's furnished for a sim with a pet dog. I built it so the front door is actually the one facing the beach. Similar to the other starter house, this second floor is purely roofing, but you could easily add a staircase and walls to expand on it. In this corner is Hindquarter Haven. I kind of furnish it for an all-girls household, single mom with two daughters and their pet cat. I think one of them really wants a dog, but their mom disapproves. There's a formal living room and a family room next to the kitchen. In the other corner is Creekside Cottage. It's a small family home for parent sims with one child and a pet dog. Maybe two dogs. I built the house small and intimate so there's more outdoor space for the little ones. By little ones, I don't just mean the kid. Across the highway is Dogwood Domicile for the Delgato household, which is a family of two parents with a child and a toddler with their pet dog and cat. I bulldozed the original lot and built this from scratch, but the house plan I was referring to is, I suspect, the same one that EA used as reference. They also have a lot of space I wasn't sure what to do with, and I added a little playhouse here as well as this sandbox. Mega thank you to Schnack for this brilliant idea of using a roof piece as a decorative slide and their covered sandbox tutorial. I'm in love. Now, at the other side of the cove is this stupid big mansion with too much space. It could do with its own build tour video, but we don't have all day. So just bullet points, the formal living and dining, a home library, TV room, two master suites, one on each floor, kitchen with breakfast nook, family room, entertainment room, home gym, nursery, the children's bedrooms, the children's playrooms, a teen's bedroom, outdoor living and dining, swimming pool, and lastly, a pool house with outdoor kitchen, extra bedroom, and bathroom. There are other random little things, but you get the point. I hate large lots. If you're still with me, I just want to say thank you. Let's keep going because it's time for the last part, Whiskerman's Wolf and Deadgrass Isle. Starting at Tail's End, we have a rental lot actually, which I furnished as a bed and breakfast type of lodging. 
This is Hemingway House, named after a cat with too many toes. Get it? Because they have extra bedrooms. Anyway, you could bring your family on vacation here, then invite over their cousins and friends and whatnot, and have them join the vacation via the actions menu. You could also change this into a regular residential lot and use the roommate function from Discover University or the roommate mod from Little Miss Sam to rent out the extra bedrooms. The upper floor is furnished as a sort of family suite, while the other bedrooms have a variety of bed sizes. Down the road from there is the lounge, Calico Harbor Club. I built it like a sort of country club, and if your sims want to use it as a wedding venue, there's the altar off lot, which looks quite pretty. In addition to the lounge, I also added a couple of gaming tables, a kitchen, a gym, and a swimming pool. Going even further down brings us to Grimalkin Kitchen and Tap. Yes, I totally googled cat-related words trying to name the wolf lots. This one is a bar with seating inside and outside. You'll find the washrooms outside on the second floor because I built it similar to my pool houses. I agree, it would work better as a restaurant. With dine-out installed, I would recommend placing a staircase somewhere and moving the washrooms to the second floor. Then, you could move the bar outside where the washrooms used to be and build a kitchen here instead. But for now, we have a watering hole for the locals. After that, we have the vet clinic, Whiskerman's Veterinary. I recently posted the video for the speed build of this lot, so do remember to check that out next. Then we have a little house for the Lynx household, Clouderpad. You know, because she lives with a group of cats and they have toe beans and a pad is also living sp I gotta stop explaining my attempts at pun. My favorite part about this is the deck and balconies at the back of the house. I imagine the cats would bust in the sun all over this area. Inside, there's plenty of objects dedicated to the comfort of said cats. And I also imagine it to smell just how a proper cat owner's house would smell. Congratulations, we've reached the final lot. A quick look at Marita Museum over in Dead Grass Isle. I wasn't sure about building a pseudo lighthouse when there's an actual lighthouse already but it looks nice to me so I went ahead with it. The exhibits are on this side and also on the second floor and you'll also find a bar downstairs on this side. That's it. Just a simple lot to replace dead grass discoveries. The main attraction was always a lighthouse anyway and exploring the island to find the ghost. That ends our tour guys. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe. As usual, these slots are available now on the gallery. Just use hashtag JQBaseSave or go directly to my profile at Christmas90 and search for hashtag BrindlesonBay specifically. Remember to have move objects cheat turned on first. I'll be updating my save file to include all the builds I have so far, so stay tuned. Until then, bye! <laughs>